Welcome everybody to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage. Today we're going to be having a look at Casper. This is going to be a lower time frame video. Up above you will find our macro video, which we were calling this move to the upside all the way back on the 23rd of last month. So check that out if that's more what you're interested in. Let's get into the charts and see what's going on. Okay, so before we jump into the micro counting here, what we are looking for on the higher time frame here is effectively the potential that we are looking for this as a fourth wave and then looking for this fifth wave to the upside now our fifth wave target typically is this 58090 to this 95422 now we also need to be careful because there are some other targets here which are slightly lower which we need to just be aware of we do have the 0.618 which is sitting over here so we need to be cautious of this idea towards the 0405 that we could get a truncation as well as that the wave one to three the 0.382 is sitting right here towards this high that we have here already, which is sitting at this 044265. So we need to always just be careful when we are moving up into these levels that this could actually mark a completion point. Obviously, we'll have to monitor the internals of this count for a more accurate area that we could be looking for. But technically speaking, this target box up here is still technically a possibility. So let's get into the lower time frame counts now. Now within the structure to the upside we were talking about two ways there was actually three ways that we were talking about this move where we could say because we didn't reach 1.618 here this could just be a b and then we're looking for a c wave in which case our one-to-one -one target is here at this 044234 now we have come up here and we have actually hit our 0.618 target already which is sitting here at this 032804 so this means that this c wave technically could be long enough if we're looking at this in this way and now this would just be looking at this as a corrective move and effectively what we'd be looking for here is the possibility that this is just a b wave to the upside and we're looking for continuation to the downside afterwards so effectively this would be saying that this is a this is b and then we'll see continuation down after this point so that would be looking at this in the bearish case so we need to be careful what happens after this move completes to the upside here because if we do look at this as a completed c wave it could still mean that we see price come back down and actually look to take this low so we need to be very careful of that not the other way we were discussing this was talking about the potential of this actually being a much more impulsive count with just as one, two, one, two here. And what we're looking for for confirmation of this would be this five, one, six, four, two. So that would be our target we're looking for for this third wave. Now, currently, we need to be careful here because this could be counted as complete. But what we could see is something along these lines where we see this actually have a retracement and then still look to push to the upside so it's going to be key we're going to go over these internal counts in a second here but effectively for as long as we hold this low here we can potentially still look to push up in the five wave structure now if we do look to just actually extend out directly here this is going to be the zone we want to hit this will align with the idea that we're going to get a series of additional fourths and fifths here which could look to push us up towards this 83610 to the 67429 as a possible target now there's a few ways like i said that this could happen if we are looking at this looking to extend in this third wave now we're going to go over the idea that we could actually be looking for this as a completed move and then we're going to see um, a push up after that in which case what we'd be saying is that this would be our wave one two this would be three four and five now we have come up into the typical target area here for a fifth wave we just missed out on this but it's high enough here and the count is looking complete so you know technically speaking this could actually be complete so what we need to see here for more clarity as to whether we're going to get more extension here is whether we hold this fourth wave which is sitting here towards us 30656 if we hold this zone potentially we can look to continue this count up here and we're going to go over that in a second alternatively if we start to break down in a bigger way and we lose this fourth wave this is going to make it less likely that we are seeing extension to the upside anymore from this point and what we'd be looking for as a typical retracement would actually be coming back down here into this lower level of this 26850 to this 22817 now i'm actually going to throw this 0.382 on here which would actually align with coming back into some of these highs so i would be also looking out at this higher level here this 28716 for some kind of a reaction it could always be that we get something like this get a push up and then look to move down at a later date or alternatively it just could be a really shallow retracement and then we look to push up in a bigger way so we're going to be keeping an eye on this um really this lower target's only going to start coming into play if we start to lose this fourth wave here 
be looking for this lower zone as a possible support now the key thing within this is as long as we hold this low here of this 20176 what we could actually see here is continuation up where this becomes one two three four and five higher target would be here at this seven eight six seven zero to the six eight seven eight nine provided that we actually meet this 1.6 rate requirement over here so this is looking at that possibility you know we're going to see extension in this way now it is also possible that we could already be extending out here within this structure and i'm looking out for this because this can sometimes happen so if we are looking to actually just push up directly here what i would be looking at is rather something along these lines where we we need to watch these two waves here so if we do manage to hold this 30656 and we only see a three wave move back down into this target box. So we've actually come back into this target box already. What this could be is this could be one, two, and then we could actually see further extension to the upside. So the area we'd be looking for here for the white count would actually be here at this four, two, three, five, six. And that would be confirmation of this as a third wave, fourth wave, and a fifth wave to the upside. Looking for this target here of this four, five, zero, eight, three to this four, three, four, one, nine. Now, Ideally, what I want to see here, if we're going to see continuation like this, where we're going to see this continue to extend out, is I want to see this white count actually hit this 47595. So this is going to be key. If we're looking at holding this low here, holding the support zone and looking for a direct push to the upside, 47595 is going to be our area we are looking for for that confirmation that we're getting some extension here. And then from that point, what we'd be expecting is this 40206 area to hold as a fourth and a fifth, which would look to push us up in this way. Now, if we do see some extension within this way, what this would then mean is that from further back here, we would potentially have another fourth and a fifth, and then one more, one, two, three, four, and five. So this would mean that our third wave is actually extended up here, and that would align with the idea here that what we are looking to do is actually move up higher here, looking for that um, target of this uh, wave three higher up. So this, which is uh, which is here at this 051642. So that's going to be our key zone we want to hit if we are looking for this third wave in this way. Now, it is also possible within this count that we could argue that within the structure, we have... Um, this five wave move in this way it, this wave three would not have achieved that 1.618 so this is why i'm just being cautious that this could still be a b c here this could be b and then we see a c wave up alternatively this could be one two one two but this is technically still possible because we didn't cross this wave one that this could actually be one two three four and then five to the upside now that extension idea is going to apply here still you know if we do see price come back down in three waves and we managed to hold this low then potentially we could still look for that extension even within this count however if we do look to break this fourth wave low here we could actually be looking for a deeper retracement here if we're going to look for continuation but what we need to be cautious of is that if we fail to um hold this fourth wave we need to just be careful that this doesn't actually break down and actually look to retest this lower range here because effectively this could be that fifth wave completed and truncated and then we could see a bigger break to the downside so we need to be on the lookout for that um if we do complete this as a five wave move up here so let's get into this and what we were saying is you know we do still have that possibility that within here what we could have is extensions within these waves where like i said this becomes a one two three four five so this is still viable here which could mean that we actually look to extend out if this is the case, but we have hit this 0.618 of the wave one to three. So because of this fact, I'm just being cautious that, you know, this could be a completion point. Now, if I come back out here a little bit, uh, the, the alternative to actually seeing this just push up in a bigger way is that we actually see this complete as an A wave or wave one. Then we see three waves to the downside and our common target area here would be this 018123 to this 14082. Now this would be our common B wave or wave two target. So we'd be looking for effectively a three wave move to the downside. What I would also be on the lookout for is a retest of this fourth wave. Sometimes we can see that our B waves or wave twos will align with the previous fourth wave of this degree here so we're going to be keeping an eye on that if we do see three waves a bigger three wave move starting to develop here i will be keeping an eye on these fourth waves and the high of this wave one 
as a possible zone that we could look to actually see a reversal off with. Coming in here and looking at the daily CPR, what we can see is that we are still holding the central CPR lines here. Now, what this could mean is that we could actually see price push back to the upside here. Targets to the upside for today are this 35991, this uh, 37698, this 40452, and this 42115. Now, an area of interest would be this target box that we've got above us here. This could be quite an interesting zone because we do have a potential of swing failing, some highs here. So pretty much between this 37000 to this 36000, there is potential up here that we could look to swing fail some highs. And if I come back out here, we can see them on the left-hand side here. So just going to be keeping an eye on those levels if we do continue to push up here one more time. Possibly we could see that push take us up into those zones and look to test out some of those levels so going to be keeping an eye on that now if we come back down here onto the hourly if we start to however lose these central lines here what we could see is price could be gravitated towards some of our downside targets which would be this 31635 we have this 28909 we have this 27209 and this lower level here of this 24481. So these will be some downside targets for today if we do see price start to break to the downside. Now an interesting thing about these daily CPR lines is we do have this one is encompassing the previous one. So this could actually align with the idea that we could start to see some sideways trading going on in this level. So we're going to just keep an eye on this. Potentially we could start to form some kind of a range here. If we are not going to either break up or down at this level, it could actually align with just sitting within this zone for um, a day or two. So we're going to be keeping an eye on that as the price actually develops here. Now, if we are looking at the weekly CPR lines, what we can see is that we're currently still above these weekly CPR lines here. I will be looking at these as potential support. If we come back down here, 31351. Three, 29701 28092 as potential support here in these central lines if we do look to hold these we'd still have potential to push up a little bit higher here towards this 36272 we have this 39562 and this 46085 as potential targets to the upside for this week if we continue to hold above these lines now, if we do start to lose these lines, what we could actually see is price could get gravitated to the downside here. We have this target here at this 26464. We have 19923 and this level here of this 16626 as potential downside targets for this week. So this would align with having a deeper retracement if we have a look at those levels. Now, if we look at the monthly pivot points, what we can see here is that we have actually come up here. We have hit this R1 line. Now, if we do see price push up a little bit higher here, we do have this line up here towards us 39,246, which could be an interesting zone if we do look to continue up here. As well as that, if we do look to extend out here, we do have this 4603 that I will be keeping an eye on as a possible target for the rest of this month. Now, if we do see price start to come back here and we start to see a bigger retracement, I will be looking out for that potential to find support here again between this level here of this 24355 this 22691 and this level here of this 20916 as potential support zones throughout this month if we start to lose these central cpr lines possible targets to the downside could be this 17064 and we do have lower targets here of this 8028 and then finally down here our lowest target would be this 2467 now we don't always have to hit these targets but these are just potential areas that we can see the market pivot off of if we actually do move down into those zones Okay, so I'm going to leave the video there. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please smash the like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on those bell notifications and leave us some feedback down below. Also in the description, you'll find a link to Discord. Come check it out. It's free to join. Everyone have a great day. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.